Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Spellforce 3 Versus Edition. The game gives you the chance to enter Spellforce battlefields for free, multiplayer battles to be exact. You can choose whether you want to take on AI enemies in a skirmish battle or go head-to-head -head with other human players in both ranked and unranked PvP matches. Yeah, a free game with ranked matches is quite a nice thing to have. Economy here works as in Northgard, and the hero's concept is taken straight from Warcraft 3. Here you will be randomly assigned a faction, giving you a chance to play as orcs, humans or elves. Three races are out of six available in the game's universe. Each faction has its own strengths and traits, so you'll need to develop your strategy to make most of your units. I have tried the game and I was really worth the adversary for easy AI. That was a legendary battle, sadly I lost miserably, so I can promise that it will challenge your brain and will keep your virginity safe and sound for many hours. And on top of it all, you can also check out one single player scenario to get a glimpse on how the single player campaigns of Spellforce feels like. Retro Commander Ok, this looks like a complete red alert ripoff, but honestly I can see only advantages in that. Here you'll encounter a challenging AI for single player games, including co-op play with the AI, cross-platform multiplayer over LAN or internet, including co-op, team and clan games. The campaign will tell you a story about humanity after a cataclysmic event and will let you control various units, including infantry, tanks, jets, helicopters, airships, warships, penis throwers, submarines and many more. Well, maybe not all of them, but you never know. War Selection this is a real-time alternative history strategy with base building, resource extraction and warfare. You'll battle for supremacy against dozens of opponents on a giant normals procedurally generated map. Even 15 versus 15 skirmishes are available, but sadly the game doesn't have such a big community to actually make it work. So forget all that epicness right away, just like you forgot your dream of becoming an outstanding doctor of ding-dongs a long time ago. Here every player starts in the Stone Age and then goes through seven and historical eras by the process you are very familiar with from the Age of Empires. When I say familiar, I mean a complete ripoff, but nobody cares about that, including me. My whole youth I was buying Abidas or Abibas sneakers from a local market and they were protecting my feet just fine. The game has a very positive review score on Steam, but I have also found a lot of unhappy comments about the toxic community. The game is free to play and free stuff always attracts a lot of kids who can only feel manly enough if they say something mean to you. But we all know that this is because they have a very small PP and not even an outstanding Doctor of Ding Dongs could help them. Loria if Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3 had a baby, Loria would be the final result. This game totally is like Warcraft 2.5. As I remember, this game wasn't free at first. The price was 10 euros when not on sale. So this is really good news. Although I have no idea how the developer has managed to deal with Blizzard's legal banhammer before. In Loria you'll find two campaigns, two playable races, six unique heroes and quite an entertaining story. Also, this game is humoristic, full of jokes and funny sentences. If you have nostalgia for Warcraft, you won't find a better deal for your wallet, that's for sure. Crusader Kings 2 a game for slow thinkers. No real-time combat, no splattering blood, just plain politics. A real gem for Civilization fans. The game is made so well that on Steam it holds tens of thousands of reviews and 90% of them are positive. Any game would end with this success. Crusader Kings 2 is set in medieval Europe with parts of Africa, the Middle East and India as well. He will take the role of a ruler and try to make it to the very top of the world's hierarchy by diplomacy, scheming or brute force. For example, you can marry your enemy's daughter and become friends with an otherwise hostile country. Together with your new ally, you attack another country which was too strong for you to take on alone and then you can backstab your new ally and occupy his own country. So basically he will find gameplay that really makes you feel like a medieval ruler you deserve to be. Lambda Wars I doubt that you ever heard about this one. Lambda Wars is beyond cool because it is set in the Half-Life 2 universe, which is awesome. This is a free multiplayer source engine modification for Alien Swarm that brings the war between mankind and their brutal combined overlords to a traditional real-time strategy setting. You lead the uprising as a commander of the resistance or crush the rebellion as an overlord of the combine, with both factions featuring a full host of units, abilities 
capabilities, buildings, research and defenses. The game is focused on multiplayer but strategic AI opponents and dedicated single-player missions are also included. One advice though, play for evil aliens, they feel stronger somehow. Hades Star this is a unique space strategy game where players participate in one shared galaxy. Here you create and grow your space empire over time, in a persistent universe that constantly evolves. All new players start in their own yellow star system, and over time expand to discover and colonize more planets, set mining patterns, establish trade routes and fight the mysterious alien ships found throughout the galaxy. Players are saying that the economy is really well balanced and the game has no advertising or pay-to-win system implemented. You can play casually or sink an infinite amount of time into it. You can also play it on your phone and carry it, you know, into your bathroom and conquer the galaxy while sitting and creating stuff with your personal black hole. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition Free Trial Despite being free, this version allows you to jump into the game for as long as you wish. It gives you access to 3 out of game's 16 civilizations, although they will constantly rotate for skirmish and multiplayer matches, so you are not stuck with the same culture all the time. Every week one civilization is swapped with another, so in general you can test them all if you wait 4 months. You won't though. If you like the game, on sale you can get it for 10 euros, or if you are from a third world country, even cheaper due to a regional pricing. Free trial version will also give you access to 8 hostable maps, an Act 1 of Blood, Ice and Steel campaign. But keep in mind that ranked matches are not available. Wyrm Sun Easy way to describe this game is that it is a Warcraft 2, but with modern controls. You can select unlimited units. The game supports Shift plus click to do a sequence of tasks, and it also supports massive resolutions where you can actually see more instead of stretching the view. Here you will also find three playable civilizations, story-based scenarios, heroes who carry their level abilities and items throughout the campaign, and possibility to mod the game as you like and even create your own custom heroes. So it seems that at last you can create a Bear Bender, the most powerful hero of them all. Empires Apart if you like games like Age of Empires, this may be your jam. Because from the very first moment you play this, you will see that this game is actually Age of Empires 2, except it's free and not so good. So here you can play with only one civilization out of six. You have to pay for the rest of them if you want to unleash your full potential. And even if you do that, cosmetic upgrades like skins for your units and similar stuff from loot boxes will still cost you additional money if you want them. So this game will never feel fully free. It's free, but it's not. Anyway, don't let this discourage you from trying the game. You can test your might as the Byzantines against the AI, in skirmish, survival and challenge mode or online in rank and custom matches. So good thing, the game has AI you can play against, the bad, no campaign. Although let's be honest, if it was implemented, it would probably cost you money anyway. Planet S here your goal is to colonize multiple planets in a solar system to advance your civilization, build a city and supply it to grow your faction. The world consists of up to 14 procedurally generated planets which you can colonize. A planet's type determines things like the appearance, the farm productivity and the kind of resources you can find on it. You will start the game with a spaceship and enough materials to colonize your first planet. Uncolonized worlds can be claimed by building a spaceport nearby, and once you claim the planet you can integrate it into your economy. So basically this is how it works and more than 90% of positive reviews confirms that this is a great free game. Home Wind. This is a minimalist, relaxing and cozy city builder about creating large settlements based on proximity tactics. It doesn't have any complex mechanics or deep systems you might expect from usual city builders. You know, where you have to build a perfect road system for your workers, so they have easy access from gold mines to gold smelting plants, to jewelers shops, to toilets and to houses of workers in order to make anything work. Nothing like that awaits you here. The game aims to simply make your spare time more pleasant and relaxing. Just sit somewhere comfortable and create your home settlement. Zero K you will construct giant robots and move mountains if needed. Conquer the enemy at all costs. This is a traditional real-time strategy with physically simulated units and projectiles. You will control over a hundred different units with unique abilities, including cloaking, jump jets and terrain manipulation. And no, this is not just a multiplayer game with scarce solo content. You will find more than 70 missions in campaigns to be enjoyed alone or co-op with friends. Also, you will find a challenging AI which is nothing 
nothing like your wife, you know, because zero case AI doesn't cheat. And if you tend to play with friends, you will find plenty of multiplayer content as well. Free for all, co-op, ladders, replays, spectators and tournaments. The game is really free with no paid advantages and it has very positive reviews on Steam. And speaking about Steam games, the cheapest legitimate way to get the best Steam games are on the Humble Bundle store. Every month they provide 8 different Steam games, all of them just for 10 euros and you can keep them forever. You will find my affiliate link to this amazing deal in the description and in the first pinned comment below. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!